Hello, my dear students and friends. I hope you are all doing well. I miss you. I'm thinking of you. And today I've decided to share with you some basic exercises that we all can do while we stay at home. So when everything reopens back again, we can start dancing smoothly without any difficulties or injuries. And today I wanted to start with our ankle and feet and calf muscle exercises because obviously we cannot avoid using them while we dance. And first exercise is uh, relevé. So first of all, I want you to rotate your ankles a little bit, just to include, uh, just to uh, warm up our ankles and to increase blood circulation into our muscles. And then we do the relevé. So we're going up and up and up a few times, put nice music on with a good strong beat and with the beat of music it can do much more uh, longer and uh, with a better mood, at least 32 times. What you want to pay attention on is your ankles. Your ankles are supposed to be together. If you don't trust, uh, trust yourself, if you're not sure that you're keeping your ankles together or not, you can tighten your ankles with any uh, ribbon and then you're absolutely sure that you do it correct. After that, you're going to do the same exercise on one foot. Yeah, on one foot. It's going to be a little harder. So if you do eight times on one foot and then eight times on another foot, it would be fantastic. And again, when you're doing this exercise, make sure that you are not on the outside um, edge of the foot but and not on the very much big toe but I would say second, third toe, this is where you want to be. Now, if you have any staircase at your house or when you go for a stroll or uh, with your dog, walking your dog, uh, try to find a curb and do the same right a little bit there. Uh, so imagine this is a curb and this is my foot, right? And when you do the right little bit on your staircase, you want to uh, bring yourself up and when you're lowering make sure that your heel is going lower than the ball of your foot so you go up and then you're lowering with your heel being lower than the ball of your foot this is a great exercise it's not only making our muscles of calf um, and uh, ankle stronger but also we stretching the muscles right immediately that's fantastic all right next exercise I take from ballet classes. When ballet dancers are doing their periods, they first of all prepare themselves, bringing themselves up and holding in a position as long as they want or can. We don't have to do a rotation of our knee out, we don't have to do rotation of our foot outside, but we want to have the same idea with our ankle muscles. So we want to go up onto ankle and stay there as long as we can. Um, and we try to um, we stay vertical without shaking our body, okay? And then we do obviously the same on another leg. We try to stay there as long as we can and we try to do not move our body but stay, 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 stay as long as you can, okay? Another exercise that first time I saw Marcus Hilton was doing that, our famous uh, world and champion and uh, great educator. He was doing the same uh, relevé on a standing leg, but with the free leg swinging forward and backward. So in this instance, we want to have the same idea. So we are going up on a standing leg, meanwhile we swing our free leg forward and backward. What we need to pay attention on is uh, to do not um, move your body around but keep it vertical and your ankle is working up and down smoothly so you are not dropping your weight every time but in the up position you try to stay longer kind of hovering a little bit smoothly rolling your foot uh, down and smoothly going up for this exercise, try to find the slowest music you can, okay? And you do this exercise as slow as possible. When you feel that your muscles are really burning or really tight, you want to stretch them. Well, simply take your toes towards yourself 
and go down and feel how your ankle and calf muscle is stretching. Obviously, you do this for both uh, legs. Now, if you think about Latin, I'm thinking about Jai, for example. Whenever we kick, we use our standing leg to cushion in as a little bit up and down towards the floor. When you go on a competition, you probably want to have your foot flat for better stability, but you're going to take it as an exercise. So we want to go up and up on the standing leg. Nice music on. And you do this with up, up, up on a standing leg position. Now, if you feel that those exercises are too simple or too easy for you, please try the jumping rope. That's a great tool for my younger students. I would say it's a must. Uh, for my old adults, we all have some conditions and we need to pay attention onto our muscles and our bones. And again, if you can, you can ask your doctor. If you cannot, let the pain be your guide. So you shouldn't feel any pain. Just slight burning feeling inside your muscles is okay. Discomfort is okay, but not a pain. So you jump on both feet. You jump on one foot. Oh, nicely. On one foot. And then on another foot. And you do it as many times as you wish. And then repeat. Remember, uh, so all the exercises we do, we have to do in sets. Um, you do one set, say those exercises that I show would be just one set. Then you rest a little bit and then you do it second set. You can do one set in the morning, one in the afternoon. But try to make it in sets, only then it starts to make more sense. Another exercise I wanted to show you is with the resistance band. They are different. From lightest resistant to the hardest, I think from yellow to uh, black, they're different by colors. I've got purple. And uh, I try to briefly show you what we could do. First of all, you want to make sure that when you use your resistant band, you do not place your foot on the floor. Your heel is supposed to stay up. So I take my towel and put it underneath my foot and I'm going to wrap my foot with a resistant band around just to prevent sliding uh, down. I have a nice resistance here and then I'm going through resistance to put my foot forward and bring it back. Point to point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. You want to do not only in one direction but in four directions. Forward, back, and from left to right. For backward direction, I'm going to use a piece of furniture and wrap around not only my foot but also the piece of furniture. Okay. And again, I need to scroll down a little bit to make sure that I have nice, nice resistance. And again, I want to make sure that my heel is not touching the floor. Then I'm going relax my foot and bring it in. Relax. I hurry a little bit. When you do this, try to make a good loop so you can relax your foot fullier and then bring it back. Then you want to do it from side to side. For this reason, again, not only your heel is up, but you also, you also want to make sure that you use, oh, too much resistance, that you use your ankle muscle only. You don't want to help yourself with the rotation of your leg. For this reason I'm going to hold my leg and I want to make sure that I use only ankle to go from side to side. Mm -hmm. It really helps, it really works. Also you obviously want to do to the other direction, I just don't want to sit back in you. But in full, all four direction is excellent. Uh, now, a few words about our arches. Ankles, calf muscles are really good and we use them a lot. But also, we all the time use our feet muscles, our arches and our toes. And you know how many injuries usually happen um, in the feet uh, with dancers, unfortunately. That's because we overuse our bodies, we overuse our feet and they are not prepared for such um, loads. So, this is my feet 
uh, this is my foot and what I want to do is to arch my foot up so my arch will be going up yeah creating like a little triangle and my toes so I want to pay attention that they remain straight what you don't want to do is to crunch your toes so your toes remain straight while your arch is going up this is a very good exercise for your uh, feet also um, again this is my foot you want to bring your toes separate from each other and then bring them in together and then again you stretch them bring them in together another great exercise now when you are doing your arch exercise this way you also can do first big toe and then four toes big toe and then four toes it really really helps to make your muscles on your feet stronger for stretching your arches first you want to stand up straight feet together then you're going to bring one arch fully forward and then stretch your arch make sure that you are not stretching your toes keeping your arch down low but the opposite I don't have any weight on my toes uh, but just stretching my arch yeah and you do it very slow show with another foot say four counts one two three four then I'm going to stretch one two three four and then again I stretch this way very much high and then I switch to another leg we use it a lot everywhere right say um, when we maneuver our weight from foot to foot we want to make sure that arch is fully up yes when we place our foot underneath our body the same idea arch is fully up it's not relaxed right when we have any lines uh, we want to have our arch up and then when we have a free kick arch is up as well so we do have everywhere oh, extended arch another exercise to stretch your arches is sitting down on your uh, heels make sure your heels are together and then bring your arms backward and very slowly bring your knees up 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 and you'll feel the point where your arch is stretching the most try to stay there a few seconds and then very 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 slowly bring yourself back down so you want to do such exercises very slowly and pay attention onto your muscles right if they if you have pain stop exercise it's not for you right now maybe for future but don't do it if it, it's painful uh, so i think that's pretty much it for ankle and calf muscles very simple exercise i hope we all can do while we stay at home all of us next time we're going to talk about our back and abdominal muscles thank you